talking about fireworks. Fireworks? That sounds like thunder. All right, so today we're gonna be restoring the headlights on the Z because it is mad foggy. <laughs> a little bit. It looks like crap. I don't know if that's focused. Look, there's no way light is coming out of this. It's yellow, it's completely yellow, it should be clear. So right now all we did was we took off the bumper, took off the wheels, took off everything that we needed to get to the crevices of this headlight because this headlight has way too many curves to just work on. If, if you can try to painters tape around it, but it's, 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 it's still, it. yes, it's, it's not, not worth it. it. It's not worth it, it just makes everything a lot harder to work on. So right now I'm with my detail master. He details the hell out of everything. He has an entire garage to work on cars. If it's anything car related, it can be solved here. But he specifically does a lot of detail work and he's, begun, he's gonna be walking me through the steps on how to restore these headlights. <laughs> surprise, surprise, every time we work on a project car, you find more shitty things about your car. Especially if you got it for a steal. Still love the car, but still very troublesome. Check this out, yo. And then like, I was missing one wheel well on the other side. Fuck that wheel well, I'm just gonna run it naked until I find another wheel well to protect my headlights, you know? And there's a lot of clips and bolts missing. This is so mismatched. This is a project for sure. All right, what's the first step? All right, so basically once you have the headlights out, you wanna clean the headlights of any bugs, tar, or whatever it is. So you just grab your basic uh, degreaser or any all-purpose cleaner, spray it on, and just simply, literally wipe it down, get rid of any film, grind, and any crap that's on the lens itself already. Damn, man, that looks better already. Uh, just water <laughs> solution. That, that's nothing. <laughs> Um, next thing you want to do, since these headlights are pretty badly oxidized, you want to sand all the oxidation off and then start from the base again. So we got to remove all your oxidation, all the yellowing. Um, we want to start off with 3M's 500 grit sandpaper. Just sand it down as much as you can. The more the better. Um, you, I mean, technically you can fuck up, but just take your time. Don't rush it. And that's pretty much about it. That's why he's doing it. Not me. I don't have to mess. So after you start doing this a while, there's a buildup of oxidation and plastic built on it, so we can make the pads last a little longer. Let's get a little air, and then you're good to go. You can keep on making it last a little longer, and then goes changing it out every literally two minutes. So once you've sanded this down with the P500, what you're looking for is a smooth, even surface, yeah? Anything else you're looking for? Pretty much, uh, make sure there's no burrs on it. Everything else is a nice, smooth finish so you can move on to the wet sanding. So this will be down to a... Hey man, what's a burr? Just any burnt marks that you can possibly get from uh, sanding it down. Right. But then after that, come in with a 1000 grit and then basically wet sand. So, same concept as earlier, but this time you use clean water, spray it down, and just sand on top of it. Make sure the surface is constantly wet to help polish the, uh, the lens, and that's it. Anything in particular you're looking for while wet sanding at P, uh, P1000? I really just make sure it's even um, as you go through. Make sure you have plenty of water. Uh, when it slurs up to a nice little messy glump, just clean it off with a towel, rinse it off, and then keep on going. That's it. Same process, it's wet. Yep. <laughs> so we didn't show this, but right now um, we've just sanded it down on the 3000, and there's a, already a noticeable difference. There's no work done, a little sanding done. A little sanding goes a long way, son! So pretty much headlight is pretty clear already, as is. 
um, but we can go one step further by compounding it um, and it will make it really super translucent and super clear. Um, it just takes a little more effort, but it's worth the extra time and effort you put into it. How does the compounding process go? Uh, it's almost like wet sanding. Um, literally, you just get compound, uh, put it on an orange pad, and just buff it through. Uh, do it evenly, get it to work, the material to, to actually get the compound to break down on the plastic and stuff like that, and fill in any other small, minor uh, imperfections in the plastic, and it will look almost brand new. Keep it even, keep it consistent. Go with Denny. Okay, I, I'm obsessed. Look at that. Look at that compared to that. I cannot wait to see that on my car. Th this is just going to make it look so much better. This made the car look so janky, I was embarrassed to drive the car. And I'm not even going to act like I know anything about detailing. I don't know anything about detailing, but that's why I'm here with Denny. I could have I easily just dropped the headlights off and left it here for him to detail because he's that kind of friend, he's that kind of guy, but I wanted to learn and it's a great way for me to hang out with him and learn a new skill. Look at that, man! Look at that! I, I, this car is going to transform. This jank piece of crap that I still love is gonna transform. It's gonna be the greatest streetable track car I've ever owned. So we're basically done with restoration on the headlights. All we got now is to seal it up. Um, what I'm using is a ceramic coating on it. So it should protect it up to a year. Um, so protects it from UV light, um, all anything basically the sun that destroys plastic. It protects it, keeps it clear. That's about it. How's it work, man? Mm -hmm. so basically, you, you want to prep the surface, put a um, IPA, uh, IPI on it, and just make sure it's free of alcohol, free of uh, any oils, anything based on it, and then simply just spray it on and just apply it just like that. And once applied, make sure to not get it wet for the next 24 hours. Yeah, it's got a set cure time, about 12 to 24 hours. So as long as you don't get any moisture on it, you're good to go. I'm obsessed, yo. Look at that. So yeah, that's the process to restore our headlights. We're gonna do we're gonna run through the same process on the other headlight. And that and that's pretty much it. It's a very redundant, very tedious process. Yes. Very worth it, very rewarding, and that, that's just, that's awesome. That saved me $1,700. I was about to buy a new set of headlights. That just saved me all the monies. Okay, so today we're working on this and doing this and that and doing this. Yes. I'm not very good at this. Oh. I think that's one of the scariest things in life is flying cockroaches. Oh yeah, no. For sure. No. What? Flying spiders. Oh my There's a God. flying spider? No, yes. but if evolution ever got to that point where there's flying spiders, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs>